I'm Jake. I'm Genevieve. And this is our 1980s trident companion, Micro Caravan. We can't wait for her to join us on our adventures, but let's face it, she needs a little bit of love. So, welcome to our caravan renovation. Right then. Today is the day. Welcome to the very first episode where we actually do something to our little pink caravan project. I'm quite excited for this because, as we mentioned already in our introductory video, it's a good starting point for us to work off of. But obviously there's a bit of work that needs doing. And I think, first of all, what we need to do is just start off by making it safe and secure to work on. For example, I'm not necessarily too happy with the struts that are there currently on the back. They're a little bit temperamental and could quite honestly let go at any time. Just for the sake of example, we had two on there when we started off on our journey back from Wales. By the time we got back home, we only had one on, so obviously that is a bit of an issue. So today, main's challenge is just to get it safe and secure to work on before we go much further. On that, hoping to just give it a bit of a clean up, maybe get rid of the stickers and fit on the window and get it nice and secure. Let's crack on with it. So first things first, then we're going to be working on installing some new struts in here. It's quite simple, usually there's some rocks in here, they're not working properly at the minute, we don't have any new ones just yet. But you lift that up, and that should lock into place as it has done this time. It doesn't always do it every single time. And on this side, as you can see, it's all come away entirely. This one, incredibly temperamental. can't imagine there's a massive amount wrong with it, personally, but... Um, Given it is quite temperamental, I don't want this coming down on our heads whilst we're either trying to work on it or in the future when we're actually camping in it. So the plan is to fit some gas struts in place of these. So I think what we'll do, start on this side, because obviously this one's already come away. We'll fit a gas strut on here and then we'll have to take this one out on this side and work from there. As we're fitting gas struts, they only come with a certain size hole in the top and that happens to be... M8, which obviously means M8 bolt. And the thing is with it, I'm just trying out this one just for the sake of argument, and it doesn't actually fit in this because we've got a bit of a problem where, of course, this is from the 1980s, it's quite old tech comparative to what we've got today. This would be very much an imperial uh, size with the holes and the bolts and everything else, or rivets or whatever they've used for this. It looks like a rivet based on the other side. So what I'm going to have to do is just take this off, which is not too difficult, it's only three simple holes. Drill this out a tiny bit, and then just obviously put the bolt through. It's quite quick and easy fix, this one. Perfect. What I'll just do with the drill whilst I've got it all out, maybe tighten up a tiny bit first, and just countersink it a little bit on the back as well, get rid of any sharp shards. There we go, perfect. Right then, gas struts number one is on. As far as I know, it's actually working brilliantly, the gas strut, there's not a single problem with that. However, we have encountered a couple of problems, but given this is an old 1980s caravan, and we're trying to work with a few bits of newer technology, it was always going to have a few problems. Problem one being that the strut doesn't quite fit in there that well, which is currently out of focus, there we go. So I've got to do a little bit of sanding on that, might paint it black just to make it look a bit nicer as well. 
And then problem two, which doesn't look to be too much of a problem right at this second, but I could do with a bit of bracing behind here and in front of here, just so that all the uh, weight of the tailgate isn't on a tiny bit of fiberglass just round here, which obviously you don't want because that will break away and then you'll have another world of issues. So there we go. With this though, the strut itself works perfectly. I like it. There is just one problem though, and that is that the strut just is not powerful enough to hold the tailgate on its own. Currently it's up because we've got the older strut from the 1980s still on here, which at the minute is not being temperamental but has a tendency to be. So what I've got to do is take this back off. It's fairly simple, I've only installed it with a couple of bolts anyway. So take that off, send it back and get something a bit more powerful. But as a test piece, I guess, it's the right length and it all fits perfectly and it all, the clearances are all good. It's just, it needs to be a bit more powerful. So I'll send off for a new one and obviously return this one. It's not a problem. It's just a small issue you're going to encounter with a build like this because we just don't know. I've never used gas struts before in a build. It's a learning experience for us all. So whilst Jake's busy doing this, I'm going to start cleaning off some of the stickers. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's a bit of scraping and sticky stuff remover by the looks of things. <laughs> and uh, there's quite a few, so let's get started. So we've brought the caravan inside because the weather's starting to maybe change a little bit out there. So we thought just whilst we, uh, sorry, whilst we, whilst Genevieve was taking off all of these, because I'm not actually doing this bit, because we've only got one scalpel and it's not the easiest thing to have two It's not that big everywhere. a space either, is it? That's no, it's not a huge space either. So as I can't do anything with the gas struts today because they're not powerful enough, what I'm going to be doing is focusing my attention around here at the front because this is all broken away. Obviously it doesn't look very good. What I do have is a brand new plug because this just goes into the back of the car and obviously operates all the lights on the back of the caravan for other motorists to see. So the idea is just take this one off and just replace it and just make sure it actually works again and then we can test the electrics and see whether anything needs doing to those on this. So we have encountered the minor problem with this. It seems the insulation has split a little bit on the cabling. That's fine. All we're going to do is just show a little bit of uh, heat shrink around that. And that'll solve that problem. We've got our heat gun and we have our heat shrink. Now we can actually do something about this. There we go, problem solved. What do you think Genevieve? Good fix? Lovely. Lovely fix. <laughs> I have a wiring diagram here for a trailer socket or 7P which is what this one is. So you just simply colour code the wires to the numbers on the back of here. So one, as it turns out, is the yellow cable. And in case you can remember from the last time we played around with the seven pin wiring system for a trailer light board. So after a little bit of investigation with the lights, we've actually managed to get all of the lights on here working, except for the number plate light, which obviously doesn't have any bulbs or anything in it at the minute, and it's not connected up at all. We're gonna to have to try and fix that. 
The only bowl that doesn't work is this one down here. And that is not because it doesn't currently exist, I've just taken it out. So I'm guessing somewhere in there is a slightly dodgy connection. But other than that, they all work. I think that's arguably a great success. Not to sound like Borat at all. Also, I didn't realise these were fog lights at all. I thought the brake lights and the uh, side lights are actually slightly separate on this. But no, Trident have included fog lights on both sides right at the bottom, which is brilliant. I was going to install a fog light on this anyway, but if they've already done it for me, I don't need to now. Okay, so to take these off, I'm just using a little scalpel scraper thing that Jake found somewhere. And just trying to catch it underneath the sticker. And they're actually coming off really well. We were quite worried that they weren't going to. It didn't mean it's dirty, but it will be after kicking around for more than 30 years. So now this sticker is removed. I was obviously left quite a bit of sticky residue there. Just in case of taking those last final bits of pink, pink flower off. Which just left with sticky and dirt basically, which is a bit disgusting. But then we'll spray a bit of sticky stuff remover on it. Like so. I've got a couple more down here, but I'll just okay leave it for a little bit and then go. So the sticky stuff remover has been on for probably five minutes now and that's about the right time just to scrape the rest of the dirt and the residue off and you just... Genevieve now working on the other side of the caravan, just wiping away and clearing off the flowers and all the other bits of vinyl that were on here. And she's done a superb job on this side as well. Obviously it's as clean as it can be at this current point in time. I think looking for future episodes for this, we're going to be giving it a wash and a buff and everything else to really bring it up and basically try and blend in the paint a little bit more with the, uh, the bits that are obviously left from where the stickers were, where it hasn't quite... Uh, been hit by UV and all that other good stuff but what this now means is because this side is clear this has all been cleaned off for me by Genevieve and the window when we actually left where we bought it from uh, started to come away quite a bit quite early on in our journey which obviously is not great and the result of that means we ended up covering it all up with a load of tape to get it home the reason it fell out in the first place was the screws were not big enough for these holes and I can imagine these are probably original holes drilled in. But what I'm going to do is clear up the back of this because it's clearly had problems with falling off before because this is old silicon on top of the rubber gasket. And so I'm going to clear all that off and just place it on and bolt it through. And that way then it should mean it won't ever come off again. I'm also going to put a bit more seal on the inside, obviously get rid of all this first seal it all up and that way then it's doubly secure and it will make sure it won't fall off very easily in the future. Just to smoothen off these holes in here what I'm going to do is just give them a bit of a countersink. A small problem has arisen when trying to fit the window in that this little plastic bracket here has actually broken slightly so what I've done is super glued it back together and it's not been like this for too long which is why I'm trying to be quite careful with it and not actually move it too much but usually with these things once it's broken once it'll break again and the problem is with these particular windows they are quite hard to find so what I'm going to do is just make a little bracket that goes on here to help strengthen it for future uses because we are going to try and reuse this again but I don't think we're going to be able to get this all done today because we are running out of time. As you can probably see in the background, it is dark outside now and the evening is pressing on. I am now inside of the caravan and the window is back on. I've had to do a little bit of a modification using 
one of my new bolts just had to cut it down to size to fit there because that was missing but that seems to work anyway so i'm not too upset about that and the window is all back in and clean because genevieve's cleaned it and she's done a superb job on that as well but obviously now we come to bolting it all in and bolting it in obviously means through here the bolt holes are behind there I, mean, I can't quite get the camera down there there's a torch and there is actually a little bit of the bolt sticking through you might just about be able to see that that bit doesn't have this sort of i guess fake wood in it but the problem is because it's so old if i try to remove it as much as i love this detail if i try to remove it that is all going to break up on me which is obviously not ideal so I think the best way of dealing with this for fitting the window back on is to actually drill holes through where the bolts come through because that way then we can keep the originality with this in whilst then making a very minor change. It's not my preferred route, quite honestly. I'd love to take this out and not have to drill through it but I think if I take it out I'm going to lose this originality and I don't really want to do that given all of this original stuff in here. But if we look on the other side of the caravan, this one has already had holes drilled in, which I can only assume was for the window that was on this side previously, because I think it has been replaced. So in that aspect, I don't feel quite as guilty about it. So on the whole today has been a mix of a success and a little bit of a, not a failure, but no. a work in progress. Uh, an opportunity to learn something new potentially I, would be the best way to describe it. I would say today's been more fault finding as well yeah, as the successes. Yeah. I mean, you've obviously got a lot of the stickers off. We've not quite got all of them off because it does take it a lot ages. of time. <laughs> it takes a lot of time to get all these off. I mean, you've been basically on this all all day all doing that, yeah. and it's not obviously we're not there yet. But as we said in the previous video, it's going to take time to do this project. Yeah. It's not going to be done in one weekend. So I think we're gradually getting through it. So this week, I'm going to have to get new gas struts because they're just not powerful enough for it due to the leverage and all of that. Uh, we're going to try and get the stickers off next time as well. On the plus side, success-wise, we did actually get the new plug on. Yes. So we, and we managed to test the electrics and they all work by one night. So which was something that we weren't expecting to do. No, which at the end of the day, if we've got that done, if, okay, we got that done, but we didn't get the struts done and we didn't get the window done either because of the... Uh, small problems but of course it's old stuff we are going to encounter problems along yeah. the way and it's nothing that we can't look into online and sort out in the course of a week thanks to good delivery and all this sort of stuff that happens now yeah but i think for tonight that sort of wraps up this video because as i've mentioned already it is getting late and i'm dinner getting hungry yeah. and dinner is nearly cooked so <laughs> we hope you've enjoyed episode one of our little caravan renovation build project thing <laughs> if you have enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like comment down below let me know or let us know i'm gonna have to get used to saying that i've been so used to saying just let me know but uh yes let us know what do you like so far about our caravan maybe not pink flowers <laughs> yeah what color would you make the bottom half as well because we're still torn yeah we're still trying to decide on a different colour for this little area which you probably can't see on camera but the lower half of the caravan because pink is not our colour of choice no. So as lovely as it is. It is lovely, but not for us. Yes. But yes, hopefully, um, if you leave us an idea in the comments below of what colour you would go for, we might well go for it. If, Who knows? So we're trying to decide still. <laughs> it's, yes. all, it's all a lot of decision making. But yes, don't forget to subscribe. There's plenty more videos on this little caravan and the rest of the fleet and everything else coming up on the channel incredibly soon. So, until the next video, thank you very much for watching this project video, and until the next one, we should say farewell. Bye.